Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Spain the Need. Today, we are very have a special guest, Aiden Rossi from Warren JFK Eagles, who has achieved some of the highest academic honors in their graduating class. Today, we'll be talking to them about their journey and their lessons they've learned throughout high school and, and along the way. Aiden, thank you for joining us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. Well, we talk about kind of Hey, you're you're one of the top of the class. You're you're kind of representing how, uh, JFK. What does that feel like? Talk a little bit about like you're now graduating, and I know that's a big step for a lot of people. Yeah, you know it's crazy. Um, you know, graduating with some of my closest friends. Uh, a lot of the graduating class, we've been together. You know, most of our whole lives. You know, preschool through, you know, senior year, and you know, we just constantly been pushing each other. Um, and, you know, that's just such a great thing to have academically is someone who's always on your back, someone who's always in front of you and, you know, pushing you to be the best person you can, can be the best student you can be. Um, and, and, you know, that just helps us tremendously. Well, and we talk about kind of like the hard work you have to do. And we, we talk a little bit about what you've kind of learned over the past. What kind of motivated you to work hard and achieve academic success at JFK? Yeah, you know, at JFK, you know, it's different. Um, you know, they place such a value on academics. And, you know, to be your, the best student you have to be, you really have to put in a lot of hard work. Um, you know, what's motivated me is just, uh, you know, I've, I have three older brothers. Um, you know, all three of them are very good in the classroom. Um, you know, and just as, as a young kid, I've always looked up and inspired to be them. Um, you know, to, to get good grades in high school, to go to college. And have success after college you know that's definitely helped me and then on top of that you know I've, i have a great group of friends um you know all all four or five of them here at the school today um you know they all push me to be the best i can be um you know i'm always striving uh you know to uh just to be like them you know they're all very good academically and you know being able to have your uh, goals set on something like that it helps a lot and we talk about some, like you talk about great support group and, and stuff like that is you're kind of one of the the generations, or I should say the high school seniors, juniors, and sophomores that went through the pandemic. For sure. What, what were something, what were some of the challenges you kind of faced while pursuing your academic uh, success? Yeah, you know, that, that's crazy. Um, you know, something that you always remember for the rest of your life, um, you know, you know, you just you have to give a hats off to, you know, the faculty and administration here and the teachers, you know, for, you know, the hard work they did, um, you know, being able to put, give us five days of school um, outside of school. Um, you know, that's, you know, if, just to think about it and ponder back, um, you know, that's just a really hard thing to do. Um, you know, lesson plans online, Zoom meetings online, uh, coordinating with other teachers, when to hold classes. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of people, a lot of different schools, you know, academically, they kind of got held back a little bit from that, you know, just simply because it was so hard to learn. It was so hard to focus, you know, so much stuff going on in the world. But, you know, the teachers here just did a tremendous job being able, you know, to get us focused, get us, get our eyes on track um, of what we were supposed to do academically. So, you know, just hats off to them. Well, and you talk a little bit about uh, having the best support staff there and, and teachers talk a little bit about do you feel that there were challenges um setbacks for a lot of a lot of students you, you mentioned other schools that may have had did you see that like i think one big thing that people look at is mental mental health yeah. did you see that in in kind of growing up in the last three years because i mean we've been out of it for three years but it's still making it an impact on our K to 12 and, and kind of people coming out of that realm. Did you see that? Absolutely. Um, you know, just, just being, you know, in your house all day long, you know, talking to your friends online, not being able to interact with people. I know it's a different way of life, a different way of life that a lot of people weren't used to before the pandemic. And, you know, I think today, you know, definitely affects people socially. Um, you know, I think people have a harder time, you know, being able to go out and make friends, you know, just simply because, you know, they don't have that experience, you know, two or three years of, of your life where you're supposed to be going out and having fun and making new friends and, you know, making memories to laugh a lifetime, you know, you, you sacrifice that because of the pandemic. Um, 
you know, so definitely, you know, I definitely think, you know, this generation is a little bit different than all the other ones, uh, just because, you know, that developmental stage of your life, um, you know, you spend inside your house, confined, you know, not, not being able to go outside a lot and speaking to real life people. So. And, and how did you kind of overcome that? You talked a little bit about online classes, which can be a good thing and a bad, in a, in a bad thing at the same time. Yeah. And then getting stuck in your house. How did, how did you overcome that and, and see some of your other colleagues and, and classmates do that? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm lucky enough to have, you know, two great parents um, that care for me. Um, you know, they were constantly, you know, checking in with my health, uh, you know, mentally, mentally and physically, um, you know, and without them, you know, I don't know if you know, I would have been able to get out of the pandemic the same way that I came into it, um, you know, so, uh, you know, I really, really thank them for that, you know, more than they know. Uh, and, you know, just, just trying to get outside, you know, obviously, you know, in that the, the uh, the high rates of the spread you know you couldn't really go out and see your friends too often if you did go to social distance um you know so I, you know, just going on walks going on runs uh you know fishing a little bit here and there when you could you know just stuff like that you know just to try to get your mind off you know the devastation in the world and you know it just really helped me a lot personally and you know i know a lot of them they did the same thing you know they uh, little siblings and older siblings who are uh, there for them. They're able to go outside and play with their siblings at least. So, you know, I think that family aspect really, really helped a lot of people get through that. Well, and, and we talk a lot about about support and, and encouraging on that academic success. Was there any type of advice that you can give to other high school students for academics, maybe some some key uh, bullet points that you may they may be able to pass on to those students coming up that for academics or being just getting supportive. Anything that you could provide would be great advice to these kids coming up. Yeah, you know something I learned in sports, and you know it applies academically, just to always stay calm. Um, you know, there's so many times when you know I've studied for a test or. You know something happened and when i've got the test i was so anxious and so worried that i just forgot everything that i studied <laughs> i think um, a lot of people do <laughs> yeah for sure so you know just something i learned along the way was you know, just, just to relax um you know if you study and you know the information like you're gonna be okay um you know you get one bad grade on a test you know you're gonna be okay um so just you know everything in high school you know just take your time be calm with it you know, of course, you know, you're always striving to be the best person you can be and get straight A's. Um, you know, obviously that's perfect, you know, perfect world scenario. Yes. You know, but sometimes, you know, sacrificing, you know, sacrificing an A plus, uh, you know, sometimes it has to happen in order to, um, you know, keep yourself calm and be able to be the person you want to be. And, and we actually, that's a, that's a great thing. You talk about sports and I can only imagine between sports and academics as since I went to high school a long time ago, we're not going to be talking about how long that was, <laughs> um, a lot different atmosphere in high schools now yeah. with social media and some additional, uh, just stresses for high school or just teenagers in general. Sure. What, kind of how did you manage your stress and kind of maintain a healthy work-life balance because you talked about you're in sports you also have academics and then i know there's probably they throw in volunteer and community service so talk a little bit about how you volunteer in the community and talk about that work life or i should say school life balance yeah absolutely um you know i'm real involved with my church um you know, I really enjoy going to church a lot. Uh, you know, I help with some of the youth ministry things that happen within my church. Um, additionally, uh, you know, with the blood drive, we do blood drives here at school. I always volunteer for that. Um, you know, and the school does a great job. You know, they host a lot of events, you know, after school. Um, you know, just just the past couple months ago, I think, uh, we had a Rise for Hunger. Um, you know, so a ton of students came in. We packed meals. Uh, you know, that they would send to places of need. But yeah, you know, high school is a busy time. Um, you know, you, you, you're trying to involve a sport, involving sports, academics, volunteer hours, you know, 
all watch, you know, with the main goal of getting into the best college you can. Um, you know, so there's just so many things going on. And, you know, for me, I just kind of try to take one thing at a time. Uh, you know, no matter what I was doing at the moment, no matter if I was taking a test, I was playing a game, I was at practice, I was volunteering. You know, I, I did that thing the best I could. Um, you know, that, that kind of helped me uh, manage everything I had going on, you know, help my mind a little bit. Um, and just overall made me the best student that I could possibly be. We, and we talk about that as kind of academic success, just doing good in the community. How does that lead to leadership roles? Do you, can you provide and, and what is, what have you taken on leadership at your school or in the community? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, leadership at, uh, at the church with youth ministry, you know, you just really get a feel for you know how to talk to how to talk to other people um obviously every person uh doesn't relate the same to you so um you know you have to find different ways of dealing with different types of people and you know just from that uh you know as the captain of my football and baseball team and having that leadership and having that um you know that knowledge of how to deal with people you know is truly second to none um you know, I'm able to deal with so many different types of people that come from different types of backgrounds, um, you know, to have different types of personalities. Um, so being able to talk to them and being able to relate with them the best way I possibly can um, and getting them to listen, um, you know, that's something that, you know, I learned along the way. So you know, that's something that's helped me and I think will help me continue through life. How do you plan? And I kind of look at this as you've had great success in academics. And you're in what what college are you going to? The University of Alabama. Oh boy, <laughs> played you in football. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and we talk about that like you've had success in the classroom. And I kind of like this is kind of more of a, a thought process question as how do you plan on using your academic success to kind of better the world, make a positive impact? Yeah, absolutely. So I was actually just talking to someone about this yesterday. Um, you know, what I've learned from Kennedy, you know, academically, obviously great, but what I think what I'm going to take the most out of Kennedy is, you know, the life lessons that I've learned more. Um, you know, those life lessons are, you know, people skills, uh, people skills and, you know, the value of hard work. Um, obviously at Kennedy, you know, it's such a great academic school and you're held to a very high standard. And to get to that standard, you, you know, you have to have a lot of hard work. Um, you know, so constantly, you know, I'm working hard, uh, you know, right now during football season, during baseball season, you know, I don't really have much downtime. So every time I have downtime, you know, studying, doing homework, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I think a, a lot of people from high school, you know, what they take out of it is not necessarily, you know, what they've learned in math class or what they've learned in science class. Obviously, yes, um, you know, you're going to use those classes, those core classes in, in college. Um, you know, but what really sticks with someone and, you know, what defines a school is the lessons that you've learned from that school. So, you know, hopefully one day, uh, you know, I'm planning to major in finance in college and I, I have plans to be a lawyer one day. Um, you know, so hopefully I'm able to use those skills, uh, those lessons that I've learned from this school and use them, you know, 10, 25, 30 years down the road. Um, so that that's how I plan to use it. And we talk about kind of where you where you have been through the kind of the pandemic and now and and we look at kind of your final thoughts or advice that you may want to give to future high school seniors because you know it's you got those juniors coming up saying you know what i'm going to be the the senior now i'm getting ready to graduate what advice or kind of final thoughts you want to give yeah um you know i've talked to people about this you know everyone says like is it different junior year to senior year and, you know, it is a little different because, you know, you kind of realize you start the year off, you think everything's normal, you know, but as a couple months go by, you slowly start to realize that, you know, I'm not going to be here forever. Um, you know, so some advice that I always like to give them is just, you know, to worry less, um, you know, worry less about what's going to happen to you after high school and spend time in the moment, you know, live one day at a time, uh, spend time with your friends, you know. Um, you know, just have fun in high school. You know, that's what it's about at the end of the day. Um, you're going to remember memories uh, with your friend group for the rest of your life. 
um, you're probably not going to remember, you know, the test grade you got, uh, you know, on your second test grade in, at your senior year. Um, so just make memories that are going to last a lifetime um, that hopefully one day you can tell your kids about. Well, Aiden, we appreciate you taking time. Uh, I know you're uh, getting ready to graduate. And like I said, usually after a spring break, or I should say Christmas break, once you get back in January, I know for me, that's when it hit. It's I like, know, yeah. I only got like three months left to school. Yeah. And then everything kind of is pushing and you're ready to go. Yeah, it gets crazy. <laughs> So at the end of each show, I like to ask some fun questions. Um, any of the answers could be personal, whatever, whatever floats your boat, because each each interview is different. So they're kind of real flash. Uh, I like to say hit them all at once with questions. You ready? Yeah. Best accomplishment. Uh, winning a baseball state championship. Okay. Best experience. Uh uh, going on the amazing race in Cleveland. Okay. Who's your role model? Um, my parents. Okay. Last question. If there was one person you would want to meet, or two, past or present, who would it be and why? Um, one would definitely be Albert Einstein. Um, you know, just everything he accomplished. Uh, you know, everyone always says, you know, he's kind of crazy. So, you know, I think it'd be really, <laughs> really cool to, uh, you know, meet him and have a talk with him and, you know, just see what, see what, what the, inside the mind of a genius really. Okay. Thank you for joining us today, Hayden, for sharing your inspirational stories for us today. Your dedication and hard work are a true statement to the power of education and the determination. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors at the University of Alabama. And to our listeners, thank you for tuning in to the Spinning the Need. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We look forward to bringing you more inspirational stories. Everyone have a good night. Thank you.